யூனிட் ஒன் green environment environment means our surroundings in this lesson we are going to learn about how to maintain our surroundings neat clean and pollution free okay children so let us see about the green environment introduction nature provide us a lot of useful things but human beings exploit the natural resources and create more trash these unwanted materials thrown away are called waste students for example the nature providing bamboo from the bamboo trees we are preparing paper and make it as a notebook once we are using the notebooks at the end of the educational year we are throwing them as a waste such kind of things pollute our environment don't think our notebooks alone pollute our environment this is a very very simple example for you like this we are throwing many things in our surrounding sir as a waste unwanted materials thrown away are called waste what are the things we are throwing away as unwanted things all these materials are called as a waste they can be solid liquid and gas not only in the solid form it may be in the liquid or gas so how they will come from anywhere is it come from only from the home no it may come from different places they are produced from households industries hospitals etc these unwanted materials pollute our environment what they will do these trashes these trashes pollute our environment environment means surrounding so they will spoil our surroundings and they pollute our land air water everything so to avoid this what we should do let us see in this upcoming sections waste management students here the conversation part is that the students asking the doubt to the teacher and getting clearance let us see the conversation part srishtika Madam I see a lot of waste things in our surroundings is there any way we can reduce waste things Srishtika seeing lot of waste things in our surroundings she is asking how to clean them the teacher answering teacher yes there is many ways to reduce waste reducing the waste is the first and most important step in waste management next vimal asking what is waste management madam so the ma teacher using the word waste management so immediately vimal getting doubt about that and asking what is waste management again the teacher explaining teacher it is the step we take to handle our waste and to make sure our environment does not get dirty and polluted waste management deals with both biodegradable and non biodegradable waste already we saw that our environment getting waste from many places for example household industry and hospital so how to manage all this waste to clean away from the environment the waste can be divided into two types one is biodegradable and non biodegradable so we should first separate the waste so so many steps in this procedure let us see now next to janani asking janani can you please explain the steps in waste management madam next teacher saying yes sure there are four steps in waste management they are there are four steps involved in the waste management 
द फर्स्ट वन इज सेपरेशन ऑफ वेस्ट सो वी शुड कैटेगराइज एंड सेपरेट द वेस्ट सेकेंड वन वेस्ट कलेक्शन एंड ट्रांसपोर्टेशन सो द सेपरेटेड वेस्ट शुड बी गो टू द प्रॉपर प्लेस दट इज कॉल्ड वेस्ट कलेक्शन एंड ट्रांसपोर्टेशन थर्ड वन वेस्ट रीसाइक्लिंग एंड कॉम्पोस्टिंग फोर्थ वन वेस्ट डिस्पोसल लेट अस सी वन बै वन स्टेप इन डीटेल द फर्स्ट स्टेप इन वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट इज सेपरेशन ऑफ वेस्ट दिस इज ए वेरी इंपार्टेंट स्टेप इन वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट इट मीन्स to sort or divide the waste into different waste bins students the waste should be separated to three different dustbins they may be in green color blue and red in green color biodegradable waste the waste can be become as a manure for the plants or any other things next remaining waste can be divided into non biodegradable waste can be divided into recyclable waste and non recyclable waste recyclable waste means the plastic some of the plastic varieties can be melted and make it into a new product non recyclable waste means they cannot be used again one more time we can't use them so they become the waste again so we should separate the our waste into th- three different categories let us see again this is very important step in waste management it means to sort or divide the waste into different waste bins each bin should have different type of waste it is good to separate waste in three different bins green for biodegradable waste blue for recyclable waste and red for non recyclable waste non biodegradable waste can be classified as recyclable and non recyclable okay students so namakitta kedaikira kuppaigala enna pannanum moona divide panni biodegradable magum kuppai illa magga kuppai appadina renda pirippom again the magga da kuppaiya enna pannuvom recyclable maru sulachila use panna koodiyadu use panna mudiyadadhu adhiyum thirumba nama divide panni poranum recyclable meendum payanpaduthakoodiya porutkala nama adha maatha mudiyum this is the first step in the waste management separation of waste waste collection and transportation so this is the second step so waste collection means picking up of the waste moving the waste from one place to another one is called transportation once now we separated waste into a biodegradable waste recyclable waste and non recyclable waste once we separated and make it ready for the transportation now let us see the book lines waste collection and transportation once we separate our waste in our homes and schools it is important to keep it ready to be picked up by our municipality or corporation children do you remember in first term we learned that disposal of garbage is the one of the works of whether it is municipality or corporation so according to our area whether municipality or panchayat or corporation people will come and clear this waste okay picking up the waste is called waste collection moving the waste from one place to another is called transportation the third step is waste recycling and composting once we segregated the 
waste now it should go to the proper places now let us see the book lines biodegradable waste is taken to a place where it can be converted into compost compost means manure compost is food for plants and helps to make our soil healthy so the waste also useful to our plants once again the non biodegradable waste that can be turned into something new so recyclable waste can be make it into a new things and valuable is taken to the recycling factory so recyclable waste can be going to the recycling factory and the biodegradable waste are going to the manure making places and they are making as a compost and the compost use used for the plants growing the last step in waste management is the waste disposal once we segregated the waste into biodegradable waste recyclable waste and non recyclable waste biodegradable waste is going to the compost making places and recyclable waste is going to the recycling factories the non recyclable waste alone coming as a waste so let us see what to do the waste that cannot be recycled that is non recyclable waste needs to be sent for final disposal this waste is sent to an open dump or landfill it is just throw in the city or our surroundings outer area as a just dump or landfills so these are the four steps involved in the waste management the first step is separation of waste the second one waste collection and transportation third one waste recycling and composting last one and the fourth step waste disposal again the conversation part get started the students asking doubt rahul how can we manage waste at home still now we seeing the common places how the wastes are coming and how we are managing so the same thing happened at our home also no so how to manage that the teacher saying teacher there are many things we and our family can do to manage waste at home so we should follow some steps to manage our waste at home three hours help to manage waste so how can we manage the waste in our home to follow the 3 hour system next gomati what are the 3 hours madam so she asking what are the 3 hours the teacher again saying the 3 hours stands for reduce reuse recycle so these are the 3 hours in the waste management at home we must first reduce then reuse and finally recycle they are in this order to help us remember what to do first so to keep our home clean we should follow this 3 hour system so it can be very useful children okay students in textbook page number 65 one activity is given let us see now write the waste management process in the correct order here 1 2 3 4 numbers and lines are given and above that the clue words are given the steps in the waste management process the words are given we should write them in the correct order let us see the options waste disposal waste collection and transportation waste separation waste recycling and composting so let us see what is the first step can anyone try 
Yes, you are good. Waste separation. First, we should separate the waste. That is the first step in the waste management. Second step, waste collection and transportation. Third step, waste recycling and composting. Last step, waste disposal. Yes, children, you are good. Those who are tried, well done students. Again, once again, I am saying the answers. Waste separation, waste collection and transportation, waste recycling and composting. Last step, waste disposal. Thank you children. Bye.